Hi folks, thanks a lot for tuning in to the Goalie Llamas channel. I really appreciate it when you hit that like button and when you hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel out a lot. Anyways, stay tuned for another fast-paced, exciting, unprofessional, unedited, unscripted video for your viewing pleasure. And if you like what you see, like and subscribe to my channel. And if you really don't like what I'm doing, don't worry about it. All right, well, uh, you had your little intro there, and I'm going to do a little project today to show you an upgrade in the evolution of the Loser Cruiser, the Sienna minivan camper. Um, one thing I've been missing on my trips is my bicycle. So I got myself a Rocky Mounts brass knuckle um, bike rack. I bought the Malone aero bars to aero crossbars to go across the, the uh, existing Sienna bars to support the rack. I'm going to be putting my Verve 2 uh, disc step through model bicycle on the rack. It's not an electric bike. It weighs about 32 pounds and um, so it's not super heavy um, but it's it's easy enough to do it. Um, I practiced and found the fulcrum points uh, let's see what else can I say. I got a little giant step ladder that's very sturdy and allows me to stand on the top step while I'm finishing ratcheting up the bike. Uh, the Rocky Mount install was super easy. It took me about 10 or 15 minutes to do it right out of the box. The Malone Aero crossbars were very easy to install. I'll put links to both of those products in the more info um, section of this video. And if you want to watch how to install things, they got much better videos of how to do that than I could ever do. And it's always advisable to follow factory recommended um, practices when installing these things. So anyways, uh, let's get outside and I'll give this thing a go. There it goes. Alright, now comes the fun part. Could be humorous, could be tragic. It's really hard to say at this point. I've got my professional cameraman holding the GoPro. So <laughs> there'll be a... he's laughing at me already. And. Uh, Here's how you get to watch an old guy put his bike on the Rocky Mount rack system. So here I am grabbing the Verve 2. I'm going to put these gloves on. Just for safety. And so I won't get some of those old guy bruises that I get um, on my hands any more than I have to. Although that won't bother me much. So first I gotta I gotta roll the bike back in place. And what I'm gonna try to do is place it in such a way that the rear wheel is here and I can lift it up on the rack that I showed you earlier and and then secure the front first, come down, move the ladder to the back and strap it in and then I'm going to go through the reverse process to show you the whole thing. So here we go. Hang on to your hats. This could take a couple of tries. First I'm going to pick the bike up and I'm going to set it kind of on the roof. Kind of braced up there. Then I'm going to start coming up the ladder. And the thing is, is to keep that rear wheel behind that back fork. So I'll come up, and I'll lift, and then 
I'll put the front one right there. Hopefully that back strap gets out of the way. I'll roll it back. Secure the bike. I'm gonna put up the brass knuckles. Front fork piece. There's a ratchet on the Rocky Mount rack. I'm gonna ratchet it down. You wanna come in a little closer? There's this ratchet system right here. It ratchets it up and down. So I can swing it down off the wheel and then back up. And when it's nice and tight up against the, the bracket there, I'll ratchet it down one more time. You can hear that click. And then I'll strap that front tire in. Now I'm going to get down and go to the back. Come on around. All I have to do on the back, really, is um, this strap right here. Getting a good view of the strap. And all I do is hook that in like that, and bam, it's up there. Not too bad for a washed up old hockey has been. Now I'm going to reverse the process and take it down. This could be the tragic part, but Jerry has already positioned the camera to get me laying flat on the ground in case I go down. So here we go. I'm unstrapping here. Now I'm going to go back up to the front. I want to come around to the front end. And come in a little bit close up here. And I'm going to unstrap here. I'm going to undo by pushing this blue thing here on the brass knuckles handle. I'm going to keep the bike from falling right on top of me. I'm going to just wheel that down. I'm going to click it and bring it all the way back to its travel position. All right, now for the tricky part. I'm going to take this front wheel down. I'm going to take the back wheel off. You can pan back out over to that way and get the whole view again. And then I'm going to start coming down the ladder very gingerly as us old guys tend to do. Here's some weight workout. <laughs> and there you have it, another great addition to the Loser Cruiser. So, thanks a lot for watching, and I appreciate it if you like and subscribe to my channel, because it really helps out a lot. Until the next time, peace. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Peace.